I'm now in the Pride of the Paddock area with Brian Betteridge. Good afternoon, Brian, and welcome to Race Retro 2020. Thank you. So, can you give me a history on this car, because it's had some pretty famous drivers, hasn't it, in the past? Yes, it was um, it's a prototype B18, and it was built to take on the world of rallying before it was cancelled. When, when the Quattro came out, the project was cancelled, and the driver was going to be Ari Vatanen and uh, Penty, and uh, un unfortunately the programme was scrubbed, but it was tested regular by Ari um, before, when he was world champion with his RS2000. This car was tested frequently, and when he won the Portuguese rally, when he was world champion, this car was taken in private on the same stages, and every mile this car was a second quicker. And when did you take possession of it? I've had it probably 14 years. It was in quite a bad state. Uh, it spent a lot of its time in South Africa. And in 1985, it won the 1985 South African International Rally. And it's the only rally it's ever won. And uh, it had more retirements than wins. <laughs> and, and you've used it for what, though? I do demonstrations with it. Um, it was in a state when I had it. It took me 14 years to get it correctly right and I believe it's the only one of its kind in the world and uh, four keep pesting me to put it into the museum but I'm go eventually going to hand it down to my family and my son will take it on next. So can you give me a specification of it please? Yes, it's, uh, it's 1780cc, it produces 350 horsepower uh, in the dry, it's rear wheel drive it'll do 0 to 60 in uh, 4 seconds and um, it only weighs just over 900 kilogram. Most of the weight is in the back of it. Uh, the water bottle is in the back, the dry sump tank. In the centre is the spur wheel. Underneath that is the battery and two, mi two massive uh, oil pumps. It keeps all the weight in the back to get the drive, which is a bit of a devil to drive in the wet. So you don't fancy taking it out on any historic rallies then? Uh, no, no, no. Um, it's precious to me and I'll do demos with it when the weather's dry and that, that'll be it. <laughs> and in the past, uh, Brian, you've been a rallycross driver, is that correct? That's correct, yes. I did rallycross from 85 when I retired in 1993 and uh, I used a Gartrek Escort rear-wheel drive, which is similar to this car today. And in 1990, I uh, managed to achieve something a two-wheel drive never did before. I won the Clubman's Rallycross Championship, uh, splitting all the four befores up. I qualified with a two-wheel drive car to win the championship by 17 points. Before that, I did autocrosses in the 70s in a VW Beetle, and that was quite quick. That was a champion winner. That uh, was a 600 Beetle bored out to 2.1 with special equipment on the engine like and I was champion with that as well quite a few years. So uh, hopefully you might get a, another win today. Uh, I hope so uh, but um, unfortunately this car is not registered today in, in, in the stand. Is it not? No the other one the other side is but not this one. It was a very late entry. Well it looks fantastic I've got to say it's uh, it looks brand new, and uh, thanks for showing it at the show. And thank you for the interview, Brian. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.